established that it is in fact separate did their study largely right here at Devil's Island. This Devil's Island stone is older and it's a little bit softer than the Sharpagat. And it's, uh, it's basically the softest of the stone combined with the exposure to the open waters that has enabled the formation of these sea caves. Now they form just by the natural slapping in here, here, and here, here. Now it's thought that the caves being here may have had something to do with how the island got its name. Not entirely sure, but uh, one of the explanations we've heard is that it comes from something that happens fairly commonly during the summer when storms pass through. Uh, summertime storms themselves usually pass by pretty quickly. Often though, they leave behind large swells or rollers. These are waves that are kind of rounded off on the top and the leftovers of wind that was blowing earlier. And if those waves are big enough, and if they're coming from the right direction, they will sometimes crash into the caves. It can make uh, it's a very loud booming sound, similar to thunder, but distinctly different. It can happen long after It's believed that some of the earliest Native Americans here interpreted the noise as being made by evil or angry spirits. They call this Machi Manituminis, which translates fairly directly as a bad spirit on them, maybe evil spirit on them. And it's from that through translation we've ended up in Devil's Island. Lighthouse out here still functions. All the lighthouses still work, although they're completely automatic. Usually there are people out here during the summer, but for the most part volunteers. They live right at the lighthouses. And they're here to get tours with anyone who stops. They have nothing to do with the operation of the modern lights. Now we're going to work our way along here as far as we can. We get around the far side of here. We're going to be back into those bigger waves. Uh, they're not really going to be any bigger than what we just came through, but we're moving slow, so we feel them a lot more. So we'll get as far around as we can, and then we'll turn and we'll make a second pass. At uh, some point when we make our turn, uh, we're going to be broadside of these waves. They can get a little bit uncomfortable. I'm going to warn you right